anyways, this makes things even more difficult for Infinity. They do have Prada back, however. Yeah. Prada, after the game, managed to make it to the lobby after about five minutes. Uh, so hopefully he doesn't DC this time, but again, uh, game number two is going to be much rougher for Infinity in that last game. I would say they had the advantage. They were well on the path to winning that one before losing. you got to be a little bit tilted after something like that. Absolutely. I'm wondering if he's in a land center, right? He, sh he should be? Yeah. Or he's internet back. Uh, I am curious about that myself. I should probably shoot uh, somebody a message. Actually, it's possible somebody shot me a message because I've had do not disturb mode on. Mm. Yeah, hold on. I'm doing research. Thank you, Neff, for your research. Very talented. Yeah. Um, I do want to point out that uh, obviously the first phase bans changed up quite a bit here. They still focus on banning out the Shadow Fiend, but they get rid of the Lena oh, this time. Uh, as they don't want to let that one through, not having first pick on the side of Ravens. So they go with the Crystal Maiden Tiny. We have Primal Beast Lesh here for Infinity, which Primal Beast has been pretty successful for the most part. And it is one of those heroes that can flex from off lane to mid lane. So we could see it go either way. But into Crystal Maiden Tiny, a little bit rough until you have your BKB, because both these heroes have good slows. They have good roots. They have disables. Uh, they can really make the Primal Beast life a little bit difficult. So. We'll see what they decide Mirana. to do with it. They go back for the Mirana. A great combination last game with the Tiny. So you have the Moonlight Shadow, the Avatos into Arrow. We might see another pairing come up later, but... Um, what are we lacking here on the, on the side? Well, I was going to say, what are we lacking? No, they're Infinity, not going to waste any time. Look at, look at the it. speed of these picks, you guys. Two minutes and 10 seconds reserve time left. Infinity fear nothing. They're jumping right into it. They know exactly what they want to play. Ravens, I'm worried about. If you're picking this fast or this confident, you're this angry? I mean, that's going to be fueling them here. I wonder if that's going to be a Doom 1. I was going to ask the same one. thing. Because then the Primal Beast could also be 4 or even 3 and then the Doom 3. So there's a lot of flex there on Infinity. But the Monkey King, they decide to go with the Monkey King. On Ravens. That's I... Pacas, right? Or mid laner, no? I Any think mid? it's Pacas. This is like one of his most played carry heroes is monkey king and he was one of the people that was really like kind of revolutionizing the uh the monkey king build like he would go echo in the deso like really early like he there were certain games where he would go battle fury in the deso he was like he's got a lot of different builds for it but it's a really good desolator game so we might see him do something like that or, or we could see like the standard build of like echo saber bkb type of stuff but I am curious where the Doom's going to go, Neff. What do you think? Because this, they could take it safe lane. They could take it mid. Um, or you could take it into the off lane, into the Monkey King, which is, you know, not as good. But we'll It'll see. be off lane. The Monkey King can't fight into him. I mean, it seems really good to, to run Monkey King into Doom, but this isn't what it used to be. Doom has a ton of base armor. He gets even more when he gets Devourer. Uh, as long as you're, like, at 50%, as long as you can keep Monkey King's HP at, like, 50% or lower, you just kind of run him down with Scorched Earth. Like, this lane's actually kind of easy for Doom these days, in my opinion. And, you know, depending on who you run as a, a pause 5, uh, his life can be kind of difficult. Hell, you can even run, the, like, the Doom as a pause 4 if you really wanted to. Or you can flex around Leisure Act, you sometimes run as a, a 1. Um, I believe... Which team did that recently? Some team did Leisure Act 1 recently. I forget which one. Leisure Act will be mid lane, right? And Primal Beast will be the off. Well, that's a Death no, Prophet, that's so... Primal this really Incredible. throws a, a wrench in things. My guess, off lane DP into the Monkey King, because that's the safest of the three lanes. Mm -hmm. And then you have either probably Doom 4 or Primal Beast 4. Ten seconds. But I would no, say it's... Because you're carry, Doom. I yeah, it's got to be Doom carry. Yeah, you're right. So it'll be Primal Ten Beast, seconds. Death Prophet off lane, Lesh mid. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yes. that looks like the most sense. Interesting draft. Actually, I kind of like it, personally. I think Doom carry is super sick. But we can see what Ravens do here with their final pick as they could. I think they just need an off laner, right? They ban out the Mars. They banned out the Dragon Knight. And I'll grab the Beastmaster. Beastmaster. Benji's speciality. He always been spamming that during pops or even then. He need to go. Yeah. That's the Beastmaster. He's playing in series. He got to make a statement. Be like, well. Right, you win, Chompex. You win. <laughs> <laughs> We had a friendly bet on about this one uh, just before we went live, and I was thinking that we'd get banned out in the second phase. I figured uh, Infinity wouldn't be willing to give this one up, and they already had the Crystal Maiden on the side of Raven, so Infinity didn't want to pick it themselves. But 
It just gets it in the end. Looks pretty good to me. Looking at the draft here, what do you guys think? Uh, who are you really favoring? Are we going to see ourselves a game three or with the Picasso buff mm. is Ravens too strong? Uh, I'm feeling the speed at which Infinity picked is kind of terrifying. Okay, I'm thinking that loss might motivate them to play out of their goddamn minds this game. Leo style might go ultra instinct. We'll have to see. Wait, hold on. Here, Pacas needs to be very careful whenever he's getting into a fight because the Gennet could just stomp him, right? And destroy the trees? Yeah, exactly. I had, you can just chase him uh, down. You can, like, you can break the trees in so many different ways with Primal Beast. Mm. So it's very easy to just chase him down, like, onslaught in the exact direction you see him leaping in. We'll find out whether that was a problem or was it Kara. That's what we're going to find out today. <laughs> No, yeah. I'm uh, I'm excited, but uh, you think there's bad blood between them after the last game, and you think everything's pretty right, chill? Ready. I mean, they did say that Prada was going to come back, and they, Infinity kind of lied about that one. That man was not coming back. They said five minutes, like twenty minutes before the game ended. Man, they were definitely just trying to stall out for more time. But hey, <laughs> yes, <laughs> that was a long commute, regardless. But. I... <laughs> Well, maybe he took his time. Got a little snack three. on the way. You want to see game three? Okay. I want to, but at the same time, I kind of feel like Ravens may may take it out. <laughs> Wait, hold on. I'm so confused. Oh yeah, yeah, it's fine. I'm just getting mixed up with seeing that in Infinity. Not yeah, used to. it's really funny. Like looking at the Infinity lineup, and like someone just has the Ravens tag on okay. them, and you're just like, oh wait, what? All right, battle time in 27 seconds. And we have Ravens Pacas. Very cool. Dude, this twin headed dog, this thing is cool. What is this? The genuine Star Ladder Grill Hound. That is neato. Remember when we went to Star Ladder Studio? Oh, yeah, we did go to the Star Ladder Studio. Yeah, that place was a ghost town. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, they're just gonna leave the, the room there. Okay, Kara turns around for it. Um, yeah, there was a, as a big, big old studio for sure. Yeah, uh, power went out uh, one day. Uh, they were doing maintenance or something like that. Main cast studio, and you could start ladder one. All right. Well, I am curious what they do here with this lane, because obviously. You've got Doom and Disruptor top, but they're hiding in the trees here on Genic with an onslaught and maybe some extra damage. You might be able to bring down Benjaz and oh, the arrow <laughs> demon! He was looking for the range creep and yeah, ends up finding the, the primal creep. beast. Yeah, we may very well kept uh, our boy Benjaz alive though. It would have been and lived close. to see another day. I don't know if they would have found the kill, but it would have done a lot of damage. Yeah. So sometimes you get, sometimes uh, you get a little lucky there. That's gonna look sick in uh, Dark Demon's frag video that he's putting together after this match. Oh, I have one of those. Uh, Mine's pretty good. I don't know if you knew that or not. Unlikely. It's, it's from Gears of War though. It's pretty old. Oh. <laughs> Yo, you actually have a frag video? Uh, yeah. I need to pull that up one of the days. Uh, I bet it's very big. Is there a Lincoln Park in it? Uh, <laughs> I think it is, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I think it is like 2007, 2008 Lincoln Park. Oh, uh, no, no, no. <laughs> uh, yeah. I think it's specifically yeah. Faint, one of my favorite songs. Any, uh, what, lens flares switching from scene to scene? No, no, we didn't get to no? with it. Bottom lane, they're getting really aggressive here on the Oscar. Kara's gonna go for the dive and finds the kill. That's gonna be first blood. Nice frostbite there. Ends up committing the second mango for that, and Ganek won't be able to follow it up. Just playing that level two timing. Yep, Kara survives this one. There's two mangoes available as well. Ganek is looking uh, to see if the him would stick around, but uh, he'll be able to dodge for now. Well, in the mid lane, Leo style, I mean, he is the speed at which this man like threw all three of his branches into his inventory was kind of insane. Again, he was popping off the last game before he lost and he's lost two games in this exact 
but he feels the exact same way. I mean, Nelm's gonna beat Infinity, let's be honest with you guys. But <laughs> DC in the last game, I mean, man's got something to prove now, right? Yeah. And that's what Dota's truly built on, spite. At least as far as, as long as I've known, Dota is a very spiteful game. Mm-hmm. Stop playing. He's gonna block this uh, Marana from being able to deward the camp. If he can get back here and get on top of this sentry ward fast enough, unfortunately, he doesn't clear it out in time. Man, they are really shoving this bottom wave, but they've got the, the pull onto the Wild Wing Crip and. Pretty good lane control here, honestly, from the side of Ravens. They're not really getting much out of this offlane, like, four-position Primal Beast, to be honest. I mean, again, it does get easier once uh, oh, you're level three on Death God. Prophet. Just take a look at Dad really quick and look at the, the creep he has. Stonks, baby. The prospecting aura. 20, 20 GPM. GPM for him what? and Prada. Look at the aura of this thing, though. I didn't know that thing existed. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's one <laughs> of the worst. Holds. It's one of the worst creeps in the game, but it's very funny for the lane stage. Listen, you're you don't collecting need passive else. income here, Ricky. Uh, I mean, his, his money's working for him. He ain't working for money, okay? I think you'd be better off with the mana burn creep, having the mana aura and stuff. But hey, that's just me. He this guy obviously doesn't understand passive income. Okay. <laughs> uh, anyway, mid lane, they did find another pick off there uh, at the bottom rune. They grab a kill on Genic, who, I mean, very different performance from Genic this game as opposed to last game, right? Like, we saw him absolutely crushing on the Tusk. And this game on the Primal Beast, he's not having as good a time. Mm. Yeah, he's just sitting behind a tree here. I mean, it really didn't help how his game started. Like, getting clipped by that arrow that was going for the range creep. Rather than putting a damage in or finding a kill. He just gets stunned. And heads bottom. It's not great against the CM either. I mean, team happens to be a very good counter. You want to trample on top of the heroes while well, you're too slow to actually get on top of them putting damage because of Crystal Nova. You can stop hero in its tracks with the Frostbite. Unless you commit it early like that. Yeah, but guys, taking a lot. Oh, dude, he levels the primal spring to get out of there. Yeah, so it doesn't go on cooldown because yep, of that. Exactly. It's Not a really, fair. really neat play of playing Monkey King, like holding the point for that reason. Mm -hmm. You only get to do it once, though, but uh, ends up being enough to get him out of that one. So we just about to get to six minutes. Uh, both mid laners are. But Let's at the very least is closer to level six himself. He's got it now. And we see the sports rotating for these power runes. And the arrow coming. I think so. Stuck. Triple stuck as well. Mm hmm. Little style looking bottom here. Does find Tiny. And he's going to get lucky oh. enough to grab the regen. So that is very nice for him. I'll lose the catapult mid. Classic what? Marana. That's going to slow down Leo Style's push, but he's honestly opted to go a little bit more of a fighting build as he has Fire zero points in the edict at the moment. Hi, yeah. Not interested in uh, grabbing this mid tower early on, it looks like. So he'll shove this wave in. He'll probably leave the catapult alive and he'll go look for something else. Oh, he's missing the catapult. Interesting. You can't take the poison from the boar when you devour it. Yeah, you don't get uh, certain creeps. That would I mean, be... imagine if you could take Necronomicon things from them. <laughs> I mean, that would be or hilarious. Theory. I don't understand the question. <laughs> that sounds very funny. Uh, top lane is or the, a little rough. The invis from the hawk? <laughs> okay. okay. From the hawk? I mean, the... dude, that <laughs> would be super sick. Give me you these interactions. Die you die instantly. <laughs> You just use dive bomb and get yourself killed. That should happen. Yeah. They should make that happen. This is like old Bloodstone, you know? It's the final... Yeah. You know, you're, out, you're going out on your own on your own way. Yeah. Glimpse stun. back, but the TP in from Kara plus PP with a wraparound. They've got the avalanche into the arrow, even a roar, and 
And that's going to be a nice pickoff on Delil style. He just goes right back mid. He just walks back. He's chilling. Another fight, though, in the top lane is... He actually doesn't opt to use the trample there. A glimpse sends him right back in front of the Doom. The trample now coming through. He's trapped inside the cage here. His dad trying to do what damage he can here on the Doom as well. Does finally burn him down, but will die on out to the urn. And Demon, he's going to pick up charge after charge here. As he's got plenty to throw into the Primal Beast. They don't have the Frostbite, and because of that, <laughs> he just charges on up. Headbutts the Mirana for another kill. Mm-hmm. Dude, look how, f look how poor the supports on Infinity are. These guys have no gold at all. He's spending a lot of mangos. That's, that's what they do. A gift from the tempest of Lots of mangos early in the game. So Oscar committed exorcism bottom. Uh, did not get much damage out of the tower at all. Just kind of farmed the jungle. Was that right? Gone. Toss Avalanche, they lose uh, Dad, they lose Gannick, it looks like, and they almost lose Leo Style, he's just forced to run away. Dude, if that Vessel comes out fairly quick, which I mean, at this pace, the Mirana should be getting it super quick, you're in a lot of problems. Like, Death Prophet, Lesh, gonna struggle a ton. I mean, Doom, not so much, because he's just, he's just gonna be printing money with the three points Devour Midas, but... Still, it's a, it's a rough start to the game here for the side of Infinity. Top tower just went brick belly up. I mean, they're still farming decently well. Like, their heroes have net worth, but it's the supports that I'm worried about. Because I don't know when they're going to be able to get active. Bottom lane, they do manage to find Pekaz here on the Monkey King. Four points in the Spirit Siphon. Does get the Boundless Strike off. Should be able to jump away into the trees. He gets body blocked on the creep. No, does manage to make it away. Uh... Silver Ward, I think the, the CM realizes that there is, in fact, a ward somewhere around here as they were diving the tower, but... Other side of the map? They do it again. Over Where mid lane, they find the kill off onto the left track, and uh, Tiny dies at the same time in the mid tower. Oh Kill my one. goodness. Yeah. Because tries to get onto these heroes, end up getting stuck inside the trees, and now Gennick gets his hands on him. They finally found him. Nice boundless strike? Okay, almost Not managed nice to enough. get the jump oh. away there. That would have been close. He's stuck in the trees. He's got to walk around here. And yeah, Kara ends up getting the D ward off. So that one's cleared. The question is if they stick around uh, to grab the tier one mid. Uh, you do have the exorcism available again. I mean, you have Helm of the Dominator on this Beastmaster. He could probably mid? just take this. Yeah, mid. Like with the raised dead. Like he should heroes. be able to get this tower. Fortunately, there is no pulverize. So it's going to be That's hard to defend that. He's got an Onslaught. I mean, he can initiate with Onslaught and follow up. This Disruptor is so close to level 6. If they had oh, this, it would be... Yeah, okay. They're gonna go for it now. You gotta go for it with this. Yeah, right away onto the Tiny. Beautifully done, like you said. He's gonna get bumped outside of the uh, Static Storm, but the follow-up's done there from Leo Style right on the money. They pump the Exo for this as well. Now they're gonna try their hand at taking the mid-tower. They do have some roots into arrows here that they can play with, so they've got to be careful. Won't be able to do it. Oh, never mind. There it is. The roots comes out. Genic will tank the arrow. Beautifully done by him. It jumps in front of the bullet for him. Oh, good old oh, get Genic. down, Mr. President. Yeah. <laughs> the classic. That's what a support needs to do. Every time. It caught the Death Prophet. The roar comes out into the freezing field, and that Death Prophet has been deleted. It literally showed my screen like it was deleted. Yeah, it just said. <laughs> <laughs> he had the Alt F4 from the game. All right, where are we on the Doom? <laughs> oh my god, this guy's farm. Uh, doom status, yeah, 6.1k, 6.7k in net worth at the moment. Uh, and the closest here on the enemy team is 4.6, so 2,000 ahead. I mean, he's got maxed out Devour. He's having a great time. Zero points into Infernal Blade is pretty rare, I think. Like, even yeah, for a core Doom, like, a lot of times you see at least a point or two into the Infernal Blade, but... Uh, he ended up going for the four-point Scorched Earth. And, of course, maxing out the Devourer with the space that he's been getting is kind of paying off already. 
Yeah, he isn't getting close to a creep camp though. He's this Midas about to be on cool. Um, you hate to see it. He sees PP in the map, so that's probably. Uh, I see. Yeah, uh, he ends up uh, dropping the Midas uh, afterwards, and on this side of the map, uh, Ben Jazz trying to invade pretty deep into the jungle right now, but can't get his hands on the Genic or anything like that. Well, top lane Pakaz might have gone a little bit too far. Is he's got Genic trying to chase him down? He's does he even need the help? It's just gonna be Leo style. There it is to find the kill. So Pakaz got a little bit too aggressive. That's a big death from him too. He does not have his Echo Saber, and he's not going for a Battle Fury, so he does not scale nearly as fast. KB is somewhat ready already on this. We're on the Genic, they knocked him out. Good old Frostbite. Different Primal Roar available. I mean, they're just trying to hold them back here. As the Moonlight Shadow was used, they're going to see what they can find, but they get the full disengage on the side of Infinity, so they're all right. Bottom lane, though. Oscar trying to push this tower. Should be able to clean it up here. They do have Ford, but uh, it doesn't look like they're going to use it. Oh, they do. Okay. Just waste a little bit of Oscar's time and health. I think he's all too worried. Don't look now, but yeah, finish off the with last auto attack. And top lane is smoked up. They're gonna find Picaz here. He's already dead. He's dead on my screen. That's a nice boundless strike, but doesn't connect on the Genic, and that's the one that you need to hit. The pulverize easy to follow this one up as Benjaz comes in, but he oh, can't get the no, roar off. The roar is interrupted. He will use it on the Oscar and into the freezing field. They get the turnaround. Okay. Benjaz also now chasing Prada. This should be two quick kills now for the Beastmaster. Is Prada trying to dodge his way into the trees, but there's gonna be a beautiful pickoff. Who do they also find there? Oh, Dad? He's got BKB. He's fine. Lost Prada to the uh, the Beastmaster axes. He didn't manage to pop. I think he would have died regardless of that 10 tried stick that he had. But yeah, they find three after they get the kill under the Monkey King. And he just scouts Leo style actually under this ward. Pops an invis rune. TP's bottom. We're going to see Tiny try and blow up Leo style. He needs probably a plus one though. He yeah. definitely can't kill this hero alone. He's got the raindrops. Mm -hmm. But and Leo style seems to figure it out. He knows. And now that it's nighttime, your window's gone. Ah, oh, nicely played there by Leosta. Oh, they just smoke up again. They don't care. They want to find kills. I guess you have Vessel done on the Marana with the tiny, like, blink dagger. Like, you should be able to kill almost anybody. Bottom lane, Leo style. Uh, I mean, he's Danny with Genic. You're trying to bait somebody onto this, but I don't think this is where they want to play right now on Ravens. I think yeah, they just played you know closer to the Roche pit over here. Did they find a pick off around this? Oh, exactly what a bait by Prada! He was ready to go onto the Doom there. They managed to just deny the toss. They get the Doom out. The BKB comes through. There's gonna be a glimpse catching Demon. The silence to follow it up. Do they have the catch? They do with Genic. A double kill for the Doom. That was a sick bait. Just instant Static Storm to stop the uh, Tiny combo. Yeah, the silence comes out right after the leap too. Now, uh, the question is what you turn this into. I mean, they're heading down to the bottom lane, but I don't think you can get any objectives off of those two kills, unfortunately. Uh, you're too weak to do Roche. Maybe if you had two points in the Exorcism, you could get away with it, do it fast enough. But right now they're struggling and they're gonna turn on Genic here. Yeah, he's a, that's a dead Primal Beast. Wukong's command and freezing field, not a fun combo to play inside of. All right, serious question, guys. Is this the E-Blade Doom game? Am I finally going to get my E-Blade Doom? E-Blade Doom? E-Blade mm. Doom. Give it to me. I haven't seen that on that, so I don't think so. He didn't do that Russian conversion, so I don't think we're going to see that. Look, Ricky's got this pipe dream of someone like not popping BKB or any sort of dispel when they go like E-Blade, Witchblade, and uh, Infernal Blade all onto the same target. There's a million ways to get out of it, but Ricky really wants to see it for some reason. I mean, you just have a, you just doom them. What do you mean? It's that simple. 
Oh, they've got Kara here. Doom holding his BKB will use it now as they chase down that Crystal Maiden. Obviously, Roshan will get scouted as they've got PP up on the high PP's ground. Gone. Static Storm, he's gone. Genic will PP. lose PP. his uh, Pulverize there. This is interrupted by the Monkey King and Benjaz now on the run. Genic wanting the chase. We'll see him here on the high ground. Arrow to buy some time. You don't have yeah, a blink quite yet on the Doom for a few seconds, and it looks like they will be able to get I mean, out. I just want to move into the Roche pit right now. Roche is sitting at, uh, it was at less than half health. Oh. You've still got Exorcism going. They're chasing so far, and they're going to get so little from this. Yeah, they get 250 I mean, gold worth. from the creep. And a roar yeah. into an arrow. Wait a minute. Doom's in trouble. Onslaught comes through, trying to push them away. But Dad falling so low. The vessel just doing work. They've caught Picaz onto the low ground. Freezing field comes through from Kara. The boundless strike, but it's going to be a split earth. And from Lash, as he's now going to enter the fray. He's got that bloodstone to go. But there's the vessel once again. Infinity crumbling. What a huge extension. Oh. Oh, massively punished it's a five for zero after they respawn way too far forward there yes why would you do that <laughs> <laughs> i was literally pulling my hair watching them continue to go forward instead of going back and grabbing the roast that was at half hp and now i'm gonna allow raven to clear this one up and nothing infinity's able to do to contest this dude they use their bkbs and Demons just throwing vessel after vessel charge onto these heroes. Like, it is pretty nuts how much damage the Marana did in this fight. And it's almost, it's I'd say probably like a, a third of it is just spirit vessels. They do manage to find Picaz here. As he does have the Aegis. He's then going to pop that BKB right away, trying to turn it around onto the Doom. Which Doom will respond with his own. Get it onto the low ground, trying to get away here. They drop the Doom onto the Monkey King, but... Again, he's got an Aegis. You will get his first life, but you got to get it a second time. Static Storm committed as well as Benjaz now on the run. They do manage to find the kill for cause. Going to drop that Wukong's command. There's going to be a toss out from the Tiny, but a great silence comes through as well. Oscar will be able to survive this. He turns around, Pukaz burned under the Inferno Blade. Dad gets him. And Leo Style still barely surviving, but the toss on over. Crystal Maiden helps find that kill. And will they get the Tiny Blink in one? He is out. They're getting it away. They do end up losing because for it, like you mentioned. But uh, this game is incredibly high action. I'm just not sure if people should be going for the kills that they're going for. It's all over the place. I'm looking at Chompix over on my screen. He looks nervous. He looks worried. <laughs> You're still able to see my cam. Yeah, I, I absolutely can. Oh, I can see both your cams at all time. It's great. Yeah. It's a nerve wracking game. I mean, you're. Ay, ay, ay. Oh <laughs> my oh, gosh, oh, demon. Oh no, he's dead. Dude, what an oh, arrow, oh, dude. Oh. oh my god. Prada will live. Sends the glimpse. We'll pull PP underneath the tower as Prada's still trying to run away. He will burn him down with the vessel here and a couple of auto attacks, but you got the, the tiny. The Greaves are keeping him. Okay. We yes. popped the Greaves lay. <laughs> no. Oh, unlucky. What can you do? He did get the dust out on over to Demon. Is that Moonlight Shadow's about to end? An arrow tossed back mid leap. The 360 no scope is now Kara trying to hide in the trees here with a glimmer cape. I think they're going to find him. Yeah, he's been found. That's a, that's a dead crystal mage. She's doing her best, though. Uh, Dude, this game's a bloodbath. We're 21 minutes in with almost 40 kills. Yeah. You know what? What's going through my head is just the unreleased voice line of the Slacks. The unreleased voice line. Yes. No, I'm not familiar. The one with the, with the fiesta. That's what's going on in my head right now. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Okay, the good meme. I remember this one. It's just... Fight after fight, they're both overextending, but it's, I mean, it's good. It's good that we you want to see a lot of action. But. I feel like this favors Infinity, honestly. Like, you're getting to a point where this Doom is going to be a massive problem, and if, unless you get a... Uh, unless you get, like, Lincolns and Lotus Spheres out relatively soon, uh, Dad will start, like, solo killing some heroes. Mm-hmm. Which they are smoking up, looking here in the jungle, putting a ward down up on that high ground. Like, you, unfortunately for them, Picaz has already moved towards mid. Looks like bottom tier two might be their next goal. 
Yeah. I mean, this would open up Outpost, give me control of the map. It really does feel like anyone's game. Do they commit the XO for bottom here, or do they just try and let Leo style do the work? And it looks like yeah, they will force the fortification. And they're just going to head top on Ravens instead. They've got the helm of the Overlord. They're like, yeah, we can't fight. We'll just trade. So Can they actually hold this off, though, there. long enough? I feel like this tower is going to die so quick. Yeah, they dropped the Exo. We could see Infinity, like, rainbow TP top. No, yes. I, think in, I think Infinity tries to walk up high ground after this. I think so. Oh, yeah, they do. Their fort comes out top. We'll slow this down even more. And, yeah, we're going to start knocking on the Tier 3. You have to TP now, right? Uh, I mean, some point soon. They do get the first fort. And with that, they will back. You can look, it's kind of funny. So yeah, they forced the fortify. Now both teams just not lucky to run into each other again. No more bloodbath for now. They wait for uh, Rashawn to respawn, and probably we'll see the next big fight. That will complete his shivas. It's gonna help a lot. <laughs> Yeah, there's a lot of very necessary armor for this hero. So, yeah, Shiva's Guard on board. Where are we at on Pakaz? What does he have here? It's the BKB plus the Mage Slayer on his way to Deso. So, almost the exact same build we saw last game. That Echo Saber into Disassembled BKB. Works out quite well. Benjaz on his way to his BKB. He's actually only like 200 gold away. It's so quite nice for him. I see another smoke up from Infinity here as they see Demon, but they want a bigger kill, which is Benjaz. They know they saw him a moment ago, and they've got vision now. Shivas comes out. Oh, God, he knows. He just saw them run right by his creep. They've still got vision, though. Man, it's going to be Doom. That jumps on in. The silence to follow it up, plus the chain stuns. He is not getting out of here. Right? Wait a minute. Uh, hello? Is anyone else lagging? Yes. Uh... Not me. I see him. Uh, he tries to drop the roar in order to get out of there, but uh, gets glimpsed back and damage from the Grims will finish him off. Now? Okay, I'm back. And I thought about going in, but uh, did not. Yeah, I don't know what happened. The server just like froze for me completely. But we're good. Sounds like for both the of you. The patch is about to release. Totally, totally. <laughs> yeah. The patch is the patch. So I can't wait for uh, the announcement after the major that uh, the patch will be dropping mid-2023. <laughs> when is early 2023 uh march quarter. 30th or whatever technically is like the last at day. The, 31st yeah, at the end of the first quarter <laughs> yeah so march 31st is technically the end of early 2023 check out i'm not gonna play him <laughs> anyways uh <laughs> Top plate, Leo Styles could be up here. The man's got his blink dagger now. Yeah, he's crazy. He's I mean, he's ready kills. to get in there. I'm surprised he's not going to try and upgrade the Kaya into that Sanj or, or something like that. Is he just feels like he needs the BKB right away, I suppose. Which I guess makes sense considering the vessel being such an issue right now. He has no dispel. Pakaz gets a DD plus his death. So just completed. Genic running up onto the high ground. Walks right into him. Just pots a BKB. Nice roar into the Wukong's command. Static Storm gets dropped. But in comes Doom as well as the Death Prophet trying to finish off one. But a Boundless Strike connects. He's got to pop the BKB on his own. There's going to be the Exorcism. But they're not finding any targets for this. Yeah, they have to re-engage right now. I mean, they're holding uh, the high ground right now with a Venetian advantage on uh, Ravens. Double damage on the Monkey King. They don't want to fight into this. He's still got BKB available. Yeah, this like if is... If can get the jump off onto him, uh, jump off onto Monkey King, and get the Doom off on him, it'll dispel it. He'll be able to pop his BKB. Uh, but it looks like they managed oh to dodge the worst God. part of that one now on Ravens. Yeah, he's doing a lot. He casualties there. I mean, they already caught Ganic. You should have just... Okay, he's gone, you know? He's yeah. a goner. <laughs> Don't look now, but Radiant's bottom tower is <laughs> All right, this one's over, boys. Because <laughs> that costs you a BKB as well. A BKB and EXO is too much. Sometimes you just got to minimize the casualties. Yeah, yeah. I agree. Little Fame drops there for the Doom. He's going to be very happy about that one. That's a, always a good pickup. 
as he queues up an AC and an overwhelming blink. This is not the build. This is not it. You need a Lincoln's piercing uh, item on this hero. Is getting obliterated. You can look, it's kind of funny. But we'll see. We'll see. He has been changing. I mean, this will come uh, in handy. early in the game, he has other things queued up. And, but I see, I don't, yeah. Ooh, dude, Demon, what a sick play, honestly. They see the smoke. He leaps right in, instantly TPs. They break it on from two, two, three of the heroes. Yeah, three of the heroes out of the smoke. That was such a sick play. And now Roshan respawning in about 10 seconds. An arcane rune there will be bottled up by Leo style. The question is, will they scout the Roche? Oscar hiding in the bit. He just leaves. Oh no, that feels so bad. Well, I like that the demon went for the for the griefs, griefs and spirit vessel. I think that's good bonus there. Yeah, he's so farmed on this Marana. Like, look at the, I was saying earlier, right? The support net worth on the side of Infinity was so low. And just look at the difference, right? Mirana, just. It's a passive income. Eh, 2,000 <laughs> gold extra. The good old, you know, Philo stone, it... quite nice. Oh, yeah, passive income, exactly, Chompex. There we go, 80. 80 gold per minute. What an yeah. item. Yeah, that item needed to be removed. auras on top of it. No. What? That's the, That's the other team. It's the other team. I mean, Dude, honestly, yeah, that uh, helm doms. That uh, that thing stacks, by the way. You get multiple prospecting aura. So everyone on your team builds a helm dom. Dude, Chen back into the meta, just like hides hides a bunch of these little creeps on the corner of the map, and you just stand next to him as a whole team, just printing money. <laughs> yes. Oh, this so sounds good. like this sounds like a great idea i don't think anything could go wrong. Uh, what, what could go wrong you know yeah you just get like five or six of them you just have a you have 120 gpm for your whole team dude yeah, that's that's math that's so good that's so much that's so good so value anyway an actual important thing that's happening roshan looking like it's gonna go the way of infinity but ravens they smoke up across the map they want to fight this the scan comes out but it's gonna be too late that aegis is about to uh hit the deck and dad He's gonna grab the shard, the Aegis onto the left. Just Genneki gets the BKB off and a nice oh, Guardian Griefs come out for Oscar. He's got a BKB to play with, but he doesn't use it. He's fallen so low so fast. Oscar goes down completely without getting any of his spells off. Dude, he needed to buy like a couple seconds for that exorcism to return. He played a little bit too greedy with the BKB there, I think. I don't know. Yeah, so they get the Aegis, but uh, it looks like they lose control over the map. And at this point, Raven's going to start shoving uh, wave the other way. Bottom oh, lane. Lil oh, Style! No. Oh the God. scan into the tree cut. What a sick play. That being said, he's going to pop the BKB. Dad comes in, drops the Doom, and here you go. And that's going to swing back the, the other way five. as soon as his BKB expires. Kara comes in to try and offer some help. The four staff away is not going to be enough. An arrow comes in. Will get split on the uprights as it tags Doom on the backside. And Kara trying to whip himself away, but a quick re-engage there from the Doom. He saw Dude. it coming, right? He saw the trees chasing because he was not aiming for, for a creep. Yeah, I mean, he threw that into the trees. He he, he scanned the, the was coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He scanned the tree line next to him, assuming it was like the Monkey King. He what he didn't realize is that he was leaping into those trees. So he was just assumed he was already there, but the leap was yeah. already cast. And when you cast on a tree yeah. that's being cut, you still hit the ground and get stunned. Yeah, that was pretty nuts. He's never going to work in this town again. That guy is done after getting styled on like that. <laughs> and who's the pause? Uh, who's the pause? That was like... uh, Infinity that paused. It looks Infinity. Like okay. hey, it's asking for the land center. Can you give me 30 minutes extra, please? 30 more yeah, minutes. I'd like to buy another 30 minutes of computer time, please. So, Doom, obviously super high net worth. Has the AC completed now on his way? Ooh, they've caught Demon. The split Earth stun. Dude, the extra stun duration on Inferno Blade. Oh my goodness. That's AC onto the high ground. I mean, that tower needs some help and fast. 
There's Catapult still alive. It's not going to fall here. And high ground. They have two fortifies. I mean, they'll get the Monkey King back up before they lose this Rax at the very least. Yeah. But you'll be fighting into an exorcism as it's off of cooldown in another, like, uh, 10 seconds here. Organic. Root it up. I mean, he's taking a decent chunk of damage, but he's got the BKB to work with. They... He's trying to grab the Shaman on the backside, get that extra 250 gold, but Lesh, he's going to get tossed to the tier fours. He has the Aegis to work with. In comes Dad. They dive here onto Bakaz and the Exo. Like you said, gets dropped Bakaz. Wukong's command with their BKBs. They want to trap the Lesh here, make sure he can't do anything. He pops his BKB, runs the other way instead. They're going to be able to turn out with a Pulverize. That's going to trap uh -huh. Bakaz in place, but Leo Style, he's doing his best to try and get out of here. The Avalanche, the toss though. Will he survive? This is your oh. with the heals from the creeps as well. They get him underneath the tower. They lose Genic, but I mean, Leo Style blinks the safety. That's absolutely huge. Prada now will be the only other casualty, so the supports of Infinity will go down. Dad on the run. Oscar will TP to safety. They've got no more stuns. They just TP yeah, out. Catch me with that. They lose the racks. They lose a couple of their heroes. I mean, they find some on the way up, but those are just supports, man. That's it. And now for the first time in the game, we see uh, one him with a clear advantage. Infinity up 6k net worth. Which I believe is uh, the highest we've had so far this game, but... Uh, Indeed. It gets worse as well. Disruptor, he finished up an Aegean Scepter with that last push. His dreams of last game, the... finally hitting it now. Yeah, I think Doom oh, is good. We now have AoE Doom as well. Well, we also have AoE Doom almost as well. We almost have actual AoE Doom coming out. That's right. Another. Uh... Well, there is four minutes for the Russian. Seven, right? At most. Yeah. For the third Russian. Yeah. 4,000. Sorry, 2,000 net worth away from uh, having Aegidum Scepter on Doom, which would give him another AoE Doom. Oh, he keeps toggling back and forth. He doesn't know what he wants. He's queued up a Halberd now. That's your Lincoln's <laughs> Piercing uh, item. Like, like I said, you have to build a Lincoln's Piercing item on Doom. Uh, if you go into late game, like he sees the Lincoln's Fear finished up on Pekaz and realizes that he needs to be able to 100% pop the Lincoln's himself. So that'll do it. Their bottom tower is in trouble, though. They smoke up. See what they can find. I mean, this would be a huge grab onto Bakaz. It goes up right up onto the high ground, but he just leaps away. He's safe. Oh, there it is. Never mind. He's less safe. He catches him into the doom, and Bakaz is gone. What broke the Lincoln? Get a glimpse. Right? Glimpse from downtown. Glimpse. Okay. Uh, Leo Style just pops his BKB, runs on top of these heroes. He gets that roar off, but that's not going to stop you. BP, though, has to get outside of the Static Storm. Genic just charging the back lines, catching both. In comes Oscar with an Exorcism as well. They manage to survive and get away, but the Glimpse will find BP once again. Demon will TP home. But you've lost two cores right outside your base. BP, BP, BP. Yeah, BP, BP is right. I mean, bring whoever you want. Bring whatever EG players Infinity says. Doesn't uh, matter. Is going Ravens there, allowed but... to have another another sub? <laughs> <laughs> if Pakaz can't do it for him, who's gonna be able to, man? No, I mean Kata, right? Maybe you gotta. Kata was probably the one that needed to be subbed out instead of that. <laughs> uh, bring as many people as you want. When Infinity are <laughs> DC and they're the masters, man. Yeah, if Infinity is actually it. in the game as five euros, they're pretty good. Yeah. A panda packers on Ravens. Is that possible? You want to bring more stand-ins in? Why not? For the sake of content. Game For the three. Sake of content. What about the sake of tournament integrity, man? What about the sake of that? It is still under the rules, right? It, it's is, tech it is technically under the rules. It's just not morally good. What have you known Dota players to have morals, Neff? Me. Okay. That sounds like fake news, but I'll let it slide. <laughs> he's talking. At, he, he's speaking as a as announced manager. That's what he's speaking. Uh, ooh, accidentally bottles the regen, or just activates the regen instead of bottling it. But it's fine. Well, this Le game is not over. Yeah, level twenty five on the lash. So he's got those edict explosions. That's quite, dude. Leo style is so farmed all of a sudden. He has a hex, dude. He just bought a scythe. He passed yeah. the doom and net worth.
Yeah, this Monkey King is in trouble now. I mean, someone's going to have to pop uh, his Lincolns, but it lets him basically uh, 100 to 0 anybody else. You get the Hex off, follow up with a, a Split Earth. Like, anyone is dead. There's any underneath your spells with all this going on. Yeah. What does Doom keep when spending money on? I'm so confused. I, I keep looking at him. I feel like his net worth has not gone up. He bought a... Oh, he bought an Aether Lens. <laughs> I was like, I just yeah, looked at Aether him like Lens. two minutes ago and he had the same amount of gold, but it's because he keeps buying items outright. I bought an Aether Lens. He backpacked it. I actually really like the Octarine Core Doom. Once you get to this point, once you have Shard as well, it's a huge deal. Um, especially as heroes start to get higher level, so... There's an issue, though. He haven't saved for buyback just in case he needs to. Yeah. I mean, they're going to contest the Roshan at some point, right? Yeah. Top lane Genic might be in some trouble here. Well, never mind. I'm going to TP in on the Lesh. Lesh coming in. Wukong's command comes out. Nice roar, but he's he's not in he's not in danger at all. He just hexes up Beastmaster instead. A little bit of a different page there on here, it seems, because that's the gem, baby. That was personal. That was personal, you say? Tower is hanging on by a brick. Yeah, he even said, I see you. <laughs> All right, a long grocery spawn, uh, you two. It's going to be like uh, more than two and a half minutes here, so. Oh, oh no, I've seen this one before. Oh. Go, man. Uh, all right, what do you guys think in like uh, 20 minutes this time? I hope not, man. I hope it's much quicker than that. I don't think so. At least it's think, Ravens who's DC this time and not Infinity. I think the frames just dropped, probably. He's just resetting. You think he'll be right back? That's optimistic thinking. So very rarely do things go that well. Or tactical pause. Right now, uh, Ben just is giving a speech. He's like, all right, everybody, gather up. Please, come on. Just personal talking. I mean, gladly they are not on the boot camp right now. Else Ben just would have just talked to them nicely in their face. Yeah. Talk to them nicely in their face? He's not yeah. slapping them over the head here? Like, what the hell are you doing, man? <laughs> you could be creative there. Oh, crap. oh okay. Oh, crap. That's I mean, most uh, likely what's happening. Yeah, I mean, I've only ever attended the Nans boot camps, and those things have been pretty chill. Uh, one at Grandma's house, one at... Uh, the Enigma Galaxy team house in uh, Malaysia. That one was nice. Uh, and then the last one at uh, local host was pretty good as well. Oh. But usually it's pretty chill. Up until everyone is, you know, tired of being around each other for like more than three weeks, it starts to get pretty tense at that point. At that point, everyone just wants to go home. <laughs> Yeah, they definitely did one home, right? The tiebreakers, yeah. none of them wanted to play tiebreakers. And it, it used to be longer, right? Wasn't it like five weeks before TPC? Six weeks. Yeah, yeah. I ended up uh, booking the Nouns boot camp long enough to go for tiebreakers if we had to. but Because you read the rule books. Happen. Yeah. I did indeed read the rule books. However, uh, there was some ambiguous wording with some things and the dates that were originally implied may have changed but i, I assumed i assumed question. that it, the dates would change as well uh and so i ended up being correct very luckily uh, unfortunately there was no tiebreakers in north america so my over planning ended up being for nothing anyhow <laughs> it looks uh, like I i'm gonna be more correct this is not a quick reconnect it's looking more like a 20 minute thing um the only question is if uh him being back in the game is gonna change much right now it looks like uh trinity has this one in the bag i mean leshrak ended up finding himself a timeless relic he's gonna make magic damage from him even hurt even hurt even more and if they do manage to break high ground here i mean especially with a lift on cooldown like he's got the plus 25 diabolic edict explosion your buildings are just going to melt so fast he's also uh -huh. got bots too so he can kind of farm anywhere on the map and then just jump in <laughs> With like Doom or uh, DP or you know Primal Beast, all these heroes that just charge right in, right? Like this Lesh mm -hmm. is an amazing follow up now. Yeah, but uh, like Chubbik said, it's not over yet. Ravens can't get outside their base. Uh, your biggest play from here 
is probably going to be trying to take a fight around the Roche Pit in like two and a half minutes when uh, hey, he responds. I think that's He's your back. way back into it. But after even the talk. After the talk, yeah, exactly. The motivational speech. So, is this, is this making the difference? The speech? Yes. Mm. Yeah. Uh, less words, more actions, I guess. Mm. But yeah. <laughs> Over the first. phone? <laughs> Up yeah, in the least... score, be like, come here, get your get closer to the to the camp. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hey, go. I mean, yeah, I mean, the game is not over. They still gotta go over the high ground. Okay, now twelve k. It looks slightly deceiving. I mean, it's a doom, right? Radiant Often, whenever I see a doom and an alchemist, I try not to be deceived by the network lead. I feel like mm -hmm. doom is one of those heroes that. It's it. He does build net worth so fast, but he he still scales, right? Alchemist is one of those heroes that kind of falls off around like the thirty to forty minute mark, whereas like Doom just keeps getting stronger the more items he can get. This hero can sit on eight to nine items. Uh, they're gonna go high ground now, and there it is. Exorcism comes out. No fortification yet for the side of Ravens. Is oh they just God, plow the through these buildings? The DP and the Lashrac. Oh my goodness. Goodbye, Lane of Barracks. And now mid, the last one standing. You gotta put yeah, up a defense here at some point. You're not gonna defend from Mega Creeps, man. You don't have the tools. I, I think mean, Lashrac just goes in though. I'm Monkey's on his way. He's just finished up his Scotty. They actually are a little bit afraid. No, they're instead they're smoking he's towards the cause. They know he's here somewhere. They get the Lincolns. They get the glimpse. He stunned the Doom. It comes out, but he did get the BKB off in time. The question is, can Pakaz get to his team? The BKB is about to expire, and that is certain death for them. Gay backside of the fight. They've caught the tiny as well inside the Static Storm. Oscar doing what he can. They're falling one by one here on the side of Ravens. Ben Jazz on the run as Leo Styles got his eyes set. There's gonna be the split Earth, a Hex to follow if it's even necessary. There's a Blink the Dagger on the ground for BM. He dropped the Blink in front of him, man. Leo Style drops the, his Blink Dagger in front of them. Now he's running it Wait, down. Was the it, arrow connects with them. He lost, his Blink Leo. Dagger's dead, by the way. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. The Black Dragon killed it. Did it actually? Oh my yeah. god, it did! I the, thought one of the Black up. Dragon 100% killed oh it. Oh my god! Grandma <laughs> didn't find out. It's really funny. I was like, was that Dad's? And I'm like, nope. I thought one of the teammates picked it up. He was just being extra BM and running for the end. Uh, I mean, very funny stuff, of course, but uh, oh, I don't know if it's gonna GG. matter too much. There's the GG. We're going to a game three, baby. Let's go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Damn. Leo Star is going without his blink dagger, but. Uh, that is that. Finally, we get to see some uh, close matches. I mean, you brought in because wasn't enough. We'll see if they bring in somebody else or... Panda. Panda is coming. Panda and Pacas. <laughs> All right. I mean, well, do it for the content, man. Ricky, can you throw us to break? <laughs> Not yet, man. What do you mean? <laughs> we haven't even talked about the game. <laughs> is there a point if they're changing up more of their players? I don't know if they will, though. I mean, Leo Style absolutely popped off this game. Like, again, mm -hmm. like, he, he honestly was crushing it last game, uh, you know, before, obviously, the mass disconnect. But, again, this game having a, a fantastic showing. And, yeah, shout out to him. He's doing really well. Yeah, man is uh, popping off again. He's probably got something to prove at this point. I mean, last two games that he played is uh, his team DCing, or him DCing. Now he will play it out. And, uh finally gets to show off uh, some of his skill. I mean, man, this has been super amazing today. Uh, and yeah, it does look like we're going to have uh, Pekaz here for uh, game number two. Panda Boo, a bit of an exaggeration there, Chompex. Unfortunately, he's not coming. Yeah, we'll Yet. see. Yet. Yet. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we're going to go to uh, our final break of the evening, everyone. So stay tuned. It's going to be game three of Ravens versus Infinity coming up next here on the BTS Pro Series Season 14. See you in a bit.